I think that is a pretty powerful and well-written piece. Tali, you're spoiling the mood. And one of the reasons I chose to uh, play as a colonist for this Let's Play. It not only um, gives you a powerful scene, but it also explains more about Shepard's background, this particular version of him, and why he is so driven. Let's tell Gerard that we managed to talk her down. Is it over, Commander? She took the sedative. She wants to get better, Lieutenant. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot. I didn't want to hurt her. It's just... When I see her curled into a ball and shivering, it... She was only six when they took her. Why the hell are we out here if we can't even keep one little girl safe? Bad things happen to good people, Lieutenant. That's why you and I are here. Don't wring your hands over her. Help her. Yes, sir. Thanks for your help, Commander. We are taking her to a counseling center. They'll help her get better. All right, and that finishes our background specific assignment. And we leveled up. I'm gonna go with uh, Engineer, actually. Helps reduce the recharge time on all my uh, powers. Liara can get uh, improved singularity. There. All right. Now that that is over with, we can go back down. Yet another elevator, of course. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. More repeating news reports. I really just want to get some squad banter. Is that too much to ask for? Apparently it is. At least you get kind of a nice view for this, the last part of this particular uh, elevator ride. Let's hope nobody else calls us back up. Commander Shepard? But it does seem there is somebody waiting for us here. Kalista Al Jelani. Let's see what she wants. Why is there a robot hovering above her? Kalista Bint seen in Al Jelani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? Um... Okay? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human Spectre? Let's try and make ourselves look good. The Spectres represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. 
So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? We didn't hand it over. I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Um... I'm not entirely sure talking about that is a good idea. I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Well, that went well, I guess. Could have been worse. That itself was also an assignment. Citadel, the fourth estate, which we have finished. We'll see if there's any fallout from that later on. I want to go to the um, embassy lounge, which is at the top of this elevator, so let's uh, use it. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. More repeated news. I know there's dialogue between these two. Why aren't we hearing it? Why isn't this game cooperating with what I want to do in the Let's Play? Alright. Back in the Citadel. It's always nice to go back here. Such a nice location. Let's go see what Nasana Dantius wants with us. Kind of seems suspicious to me that she's just calling us for help out of the blue. Why us? She has no ties to the council, so I'm not entirely sure what uh, the big idea is. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. You said you had a job offer. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. You want me to hunt down the people who killed her? This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive! The rest of the crew was killed. But she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. Do you want me to deliver the ransom? I've already transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. And that's what you're worried about? Why would they put you in jail? You're the victim here. Government representatives on the Citadel are not allowed to negotiate with terrorists. It's too dangerous. Paying a ransom would only encourage more kidnappings. I support the law in theory, but when I got the message, all I could think about was Dahlia's safety. I doubt they would actually send me to prison for what I did, but they would strip me of my post, and Dahlia would still be in the hands of the slavers. 
You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Wait, Artemis Tau? We were just there. Couldn't you have told us sooner? Anything you can tell me about the Mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. Why me? That's a good question. Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a Spectre. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way. Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. Well, I still think this is suspicious, but we'll look into it. Don't worry. I'll bring your sister back. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. She seems a bit too concerned with her own... Uh, problems. For this to be entirely on the level. Anyway, if we want to look into this, we need to go to the Macedon system of the Artemis Tau Cluster. Which is the one system in the Artemis Tau cl Cluster that uh, we haven't visited yet. It's almost as if I did that on purpose. You can, of course, go there and actually finish the whole uh, assignment before you ever speak to Nasana. But story-wise, it's nicer to do it this way, which is why I'm doing it this way. There are a number of assignments that you can complete before finding out about them in any other way. And in pretty much all cases, I am attempting to... Uh, find out about them before heading to those systems. There are a number of assignments that you um, can only find by random exploration though, so of course for those I will just have to uh, go to them. But as long as there is another way to find out about an assignment, I intend to use it. You might be wondering why I'm going here. That is because I happen to know that there is something new for us to do on this side, too. There are a number of things that show up after you return to the, the Citadel after finishing at least one story mission. It doesn't have to be uh, Ferrum. You could have gone to Novaria or Ferros too. See that uh, Helena Blake is not here anymore. While we're here, uh, let's see if he is at anything of interest. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Um... Let's check standard items. He's got a new license, a much more expensive one, as you can see. Let's buy that. And an Omni tool. I kind of want a better Omni tool, and we haven't found anyone yet. Chameleon tool 5 is not a particularly good option, because although it gives you a good tech cooldown bonus, it has no shield bonus or med recharge bonus. Omni tools. They are the holographic things on your arm that you keep seeing every time I use Omni, uh, use Omnigel or Medigel or any of my uh, tech powers. They are the tool of use for anyone with technical abilities. And getting better ones improves, the, um, improves your shields, it improves the cooldown time of your tech talents, and also uh, improves the recharge time of Medigel. This one isn't really worth buying, so I'm not buying it. Not really interested in any of the rest. I was mainly looking for the license. 
because, well, even though I rarely buy anything from the requisitions officer, I kind of uh, want to have all the licenses. I'm a complete completionist like that. I, I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. These two are arguing. Perhaps they would like the input of a random stranger uh, on their problem. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. What's her, her side of that? I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. Well, um... Personally, I think... That, considering it's uh, a small chance that um, the child will get the condition, and there are treatments for it, even if it does, and I'm not usually in favor of getting treatments for no uh, good reason, I'm gonna go with her side. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing! She's acting blindly out of grief! And so are you. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left, too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Well, that was random. 